All right, thank you for taking time to listen to and check out this video here. We're just going to take a few minutes. My name is Jason Badari. I'm co-host here at 73 Mentors. And also with me is my brother. Another co-host, Vince Badari. And we're just going to take a few minutes here, uh, introduce ourselves a little bit, let you know a little bit of our background, and really talk about the podcast and for you, the listener, giving you an idea what you can expect from 73 Mentors. And I guess first I'll just give a little background on myself. Um, like I said, my name is Jason. I've been podcasting for about nearly two years now. And as part of that journey, um, has been trying to identify things that are, would be more valuable for an audience. And my background is in chemical engineering, so I spent a lot of time looking at data, analyzing data, trying to break things down to find out what's most important. And that's, that comes into play as we'll explain here on, on 73 Mentors and, and what we're trying to accomplish here. Vince, why don't you go and give you a little bit of, of your background, who you are, and then we'll describe the podcast. Sure. My, um, as Jason said, my name's Vincent. I'm Jason's brother, older brother. Hey. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and my background is in pharmacy. I've been a pharmacist for over 20 years. And similar to Jason, though, being analytical, spending a lot of time analyzing stuff, analyzing data that's uh, fairly difficult to comprehend for for the most part. And then bringing it in, in addition to this analyzing it, I've been teaching for about 20 years too, uh, to different individuals, either to individual patients, to doctors, general public. And so those two skill sets, analyzing stuff and then bringing it into a format and in, in, in a manner that allows the, the audience or the listener to understand really complex issues. And, and also not only that, but also some practical tips. And that's, that's kind of where we're going with, with 73 Mentors. Yeah, and I guess along the same lines, I've always been, I guess, a, a student to some degree in, in trying to figure out better ways to live. Um, I found that through my own faith path and also, I guess, through, just through investigation. And one thing I think I've constantly done that, that plays into this is, is, like you said, similar to you, Vince, where I've often tried to figure out what's relevant and what's not relevant and bring those things to surface and be able to explain them and teach them to people. And so I guess we're about to hit the origin story here on 73 Mentors and where this came about and what we're trying to do. So some time ago, several months ago, in research, looking at different topics for my other podcast, um, it's called Story Hinge, and Vince has joined me on that podcast several times as well. And in that, I came across a book called The 100 Most Influential People Who Ever Lived. And that really intrigued me. I thought, oh, because throughout this time, as I've been doing the other podcast and Vince and I have been having conversations pretty much weekly about the podcast, but just about life in general. And this looking at that 100 most influential people who ever lived was an intriguing thing because we've talked about some of these individuals and we've heard about these individuals and many of you out there have heard of this as well. And so then we started discussing that idea. Well, what if we start talking about these influential people who have lived in the out of all time, who are the most influential out of all time, if we start talking about them and researching them and finding out what made them influential and what, and really trying to bring that to, to today and to our lives and, and trying to find the value in that. That was some of the, the, the beginnings of this, this, this part. Does you have any other parts you want to hit on that? Yeah. So I think some other things I'd like to add there is that not only the individuals, so we go biographically, what where did they grow up? Who did they grow up with? What were their parents like what were what was the time period uh, what was the culture they grew up in i think that all that's important and also the works that these individuals did i think some of the works that we're going to go through are, are fascinating in and of themselves i think most people with any degree have ideas about the individual maybe recognize the names but not necessarily look at the works or maybe be fam somewhat familiar with some of their works but not in depth so jason and i are going to bring our analytical skill set, if you will, to that and look at the works in depth and then bring it to the surface and teach it that way for practical manners. I think the other thing that we'd like to do is the audience that we have in mind is someone who may not have the time for some of these works, may not have the time to really delve into these issues. And Jason and I are using our time to do that and to bring some very, I think, practical takeaways 
that um, that are that life transforming in some respect because these are the best of the these are the best of the best the reason we call it 73 mentors is these in a sense function as surrogate mentors or as mentors and to just see how they conducted their lives and what they did throughout their lives uh, i think it will be very informative and very, very educational yeah and that, the idea of a mentor is, is i think a powerful one that we're trying to bring forth because we you may have heard that you know you are the sum of the five most influential people in your life, and I know for a lot of us out there, perhaps we don't have those great influences in our life, or we don't maybe we weren't raised that way, maybe we don't have that, and so you know, to somewhat vicariously, we're going to use or, or or look at these historical influential people and bring them into our lives as mentors, and I think that's I think that'll be really powerful because we see that in our day, you know, looking to current day living people as mentors and trying to follow their examples. And that's powerful enough in its own, but I think this is even more powerful in terms of, hey, these are the most influential who have ever lived. And they've impacted our world in, in many ways and, and 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 probably in many ways we don't even realize it that as we start going into some of these individuals. And um, so that's some of the, I guess a little bit of the why of the podcast, a little bit of the background of it. And a little bit. So 73 mentors, we're gonna go through 73 mentors we, we're going to start with number 22, which is Plato. And then from Plato, we'll count down from 22 to 1. As we start approaching the top 10 to top 5, we're going to ask our audience to start picking the other other individuals that they'd like us to review. Uh, part of that, part of the structure, too, is that, that we don't dedicate an equal amount of time to each individual. We'll dedicate what's necessary. And, and so this is... This is not a quick study. This is a, we're not looking for a, a large breath without any depth. We're looking for both. We're looking for breath and depth because I think at that point, nothing worthwhile comes about very shortly. So we're going to go in depth about a lot of these, these, these works and these individuals. And as we go through them, you're going to see multiple uh, traits, if you will, that c continue to rise again and again and again. That's kind of the, the structure that we're, that's the structure that we're approaching it with. Yeah, and I think a good example we're, at the time of this recording, we're actually closing up on Plato, which is our number twenty two. And in that we were spending, I guess close to three months really spending time with Plato in terms mm -hmm. of reading and researching, and we'll have put in probably over fifteen hours talking about Plato. So that's the kind of depth you might imagine with some of these. and like these like you said, then sometimes, it won't probably won't go that long. Other yeah. these individuals will be shorter than that. There may be others that go longer. And mm -hmm. um, uh, I think that's pretty important that we're we're putting a pretty significant significant amount of time so that you don't have to. It's really yeah. the part of it, but you're still going to get uh, breadth and depth on each one of these individuals. Yeah, and, and and I think this does it saves you time, but also if you want to read some of the works that we're going to go through this gives you some background in order to in order to get into those works and as jason mentioned right at the beginning is that one of the things we want to do is provide ideas provide those mentor ideas to you that you may not ever been exposed to even even someone who's gone to college jason and i have both gone to college and spent a lot of time there some of these ideas we've not even been introduced to so it it's one of those it's one of those situations where i think our educational system is really not set up to take this much time and go into this, this much depth. Oftentimes, you'll read sections, even when we read Plato, I took Plato as a philosophy class in college, and we've spent maybe two or three hours on Plato entirely. So uh, again, it was, it was very shallow or not really in depth in, in completion of, of a, an in-depth discussion about his work. So again, th these are, we'll continue to bring fresh ideas in each individual fresh ideas but at the same time meld them together with other people that we've talked about yeah i think another thing we're going to be attempting to do is bringing real life tools out of this out of this study mm -hmm. and things that you can really apply uh, maybe some rules of life that you can live by um, pieces of wisdom that you can incorporate into your life and and so i guess i have to ask sometimes that question well then who is this who is this podcast for who would really benefit from this? And I think we're we're hitting it somewhat in our discussion already, but maybe we should flesh that out a little bit more. And I think it's for someone who wants to gain more wisdom and learn from the best of the best, like you said, Vince. And 
maybe doesn't have that time or that, that energy to, to, do, to do this work themselves. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a lot of that, but you're still gonna get a lot of value from, from what we do. I, I think that's, that's, so who's our audience? I think we touched on a little bit. Is I think someone who is looking to have a historical perspective to some degree, is looking for an education, an education, not an education like a formal schooling education, but education that has built into it a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight. I think there's going to be some, one of our mottos is cultivating a culture or cult, I'm sorry, cultivating a consciousness of wisdom, wit, and zeal. I mean, we're going to, you have to turn these things over and allow them to marinate a little bit to get some wisdom and wit is that you're able to see these things more keenly and there should be some enthusiasm both jason and i there's some enthusiasm going through these that I mean, some of the, the the quotes and the ideas that come through you can't help but i think get a little bit excited so again it's for the individual who gets excited about really in-depth discussions discussions that talking about we, we, we talk about the soul about immortality about how to live a good life, how to live a just life, but not in your bumper sticker type manner. These are discussions that uh, will take time and, and a lot of thought. Yeah, I guess along with that, I would say that there's some challenging ideas too. Mm -hmm. For me already, there's um, new ideas I've had to wrestle with Plato with and disagree with him at times. I think he's wrong on a few things. And um... <laughs> 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 but it, I think that's part of. I think that's, that's important because. To stretch our minds, to stretch the possibility, we have to grapple with some of those things, I think. To really be able to work through them and, and to examine them and to find value, or not find value. Sometimes I think we'll, 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 we'll play with ideas and we'll hold them there and examine them for a while and then we'll say, you know what, I don't, I don't find anything here. And we might move on from that idea. But I think we're, we're, we at least approach it with an openness first and say, well, let's examine it and see it and turn it around and, and examine this and see, see where it goes. Um, so I think that's a, an invitation for, really, I think our invitation really is for, for you out there to, to join us on this journey. Because I think for both you and me, Vince, it's, um, it's going to be a huge learning process. It already has been. Yeah. And we've yeah. been a few months into this. And I think the, the invitation too, I think, would also include anyone who's curious. Anyone who's curious about how the world got to where it's at. Because all the individuals we're going to talk about are formations of every culture, in, in the world. Uh, to give you some examples besides Plato, we're going to talk about Marx, we're going to talk about Galileo. We're going to hit on pretty much every major religion, uh, whether that's Judaism, Christianity, uh, some of the, the Eastern religions. We're going to uh, talk about um, um, Islam. So we're going to hit on some of really deep topics, but again, if anyone's curious on how we got to where we are, uh, I think we'll, we'll definitely touch on pretty much every aspect of culture as we now have it yeah religious there'll be scientists in there we have uh, i guess i'm just hitting some of our top 22 that we already laid out we have in terms of scientists we got darwin pasteur um einstein uh, then you have uh, newton is another one then you have these multiple characters that hit multiple places oh there euclid's another mathematician um aristotle will be hitting and some some of the arts as well will be in that as well, like um, yeah. Shakespeare. And, Shakespeare. And da Vinci is another one. So right. uh, you know, for me, I, I'm familiar with these names, but do I know how much depth do I know about them? Mm, not too much on most of them. And that's probably similar to many many of you out there. Like, yeah, I know this, and I, and I may know a little bit about this person. Oh, I heard of that person, but I don't know too much. Well, this is an opportunity to to learn deeply about them. So I guess we'll close with just that, with the invitation to, to join us, and and we'll keep uh, adding value in multiple ways through diving into these 73 mentors. <laughs>